Thomas Weber shows off one of the latest Mercedes models. Daimler has seen its sales plummet in recent years, a trend he hopes to reverse. He's in charge of the company's research and development. It's his job to ensure Daimler remains at the cutting edge of automotive technology. Researchers and developers are people who are always asking why, what, and what would you like, what will you want tomorrow. We develop ideas and products for the future, so these people are always inquisitive, as I am too. They're always wanting to conceive new ideas. At the Mercedes plant in Sindelfingen in southwest Germany, staff are busy working on the cars of tomorrow. Normally these things are strictly confidential and off limits to cameras. But right now, any chance to advertise the company's strengths is welcome. So, Mensch. Thomas Weber is investing more in green technology. Daimler plans to offer the new S-Class with a hybrid engine. I almost feel jealous that you're so closely involved with these issues. When can I take it for a first test drive? This car is a pioneering model. Thomas Weber asks his staff how things are progressing. The car has an electric motor with a fuel cell. This is the shape of the future. Our customers will love it. Cars with this kind of fuel cell are soon to go into small-scale series production. So what of the common criticism that Mercedes has been slow to respond to the Green Revolution? It's a discussion that does upset me, because in reality the opposite is true. We've really upped the pressure and are seeking to put this technology into series production. Of course you can argue which came first, who's waiting for who, but that's why we've decided on the board not to wait any longer, but just to get on with it. So could Daimler be the leading light on the road to a new emissions-free age? Weber says customers want clean cars, and so that is what they're going to get. The developers have a virtual laboratory where they can test out their designs with the aid of a computer simulator. For example, they can test right away whether the mirror works as it should when parking the car. Developing new cars is extremely expensive. Weber can save around 20% of the cost by using this virtual design technique. During this test, they discover the mirror does a perfect job. We asked our researchers to consider this option very early on, because we realized that it's a very long-winded process to create an idea first and then try it out in practice, often only to discover that it's not quite right. Weber often has to spend time at the office, but it's not his favorite place. The 55-year-old executive, who enjoys cycling in his free time, is not one to potter away on his own. He is very much a team player. And despite his high position at Daimler, his workers say he's very accessible. Das kann ich alleine bewirken. What can I do on my own? I certainly don't overestimate my own role. My job is to form this team, to ensure we work together. In the end, we're only as good as the sum of our combined efforts. It's down to Thomas Weber to ensure Daimler pulls ahead of the competition. But whether he's successful will ultimately be decided by the customer.